Hello, so today as I sit here and just think, there's always something going on in my head of what I want to talk about, but today I want to talk about healing. I mean, I know I post a lot about it, I mention it a lot in my memes, um, inspirational quotes that I put up. It's time to heal. It's time to heal. Um, and I'm, I am want to speak for everyone, but some of us need to heal from past trauma. Um, we go around and we act like things are okay. We're not hurting. We may not show it. But sometimes it's in our body language, what we don't say. Sometimes it's in our actions, the things that we do. Um, I mean, it could definitely be in our words, you know, with our anger, you know, how we lash out at people, things that we may say to them. Um, that's hurt. That's hurt. And when you don't heal the hurt, it turns to anger. It can it can turn to a lot of things. Um, so what I'm saying to you is don't let your hurt deter you from moving forward to whatever blessing that God has for you. Um... I know it all too well. I know how we can hold it in. We can suppress it. Suppressing it doesn't help. It makes it worse. We can ignore it. But it will come back up. It'll come back. It'll, it'll resurface later on in life. Um, through a relationship. It'll resurface on your parenting skills. If you're a parent. On how you speak to people. Hurt shows up in so many different ways. I mean, you, you have people that obsessive, obsessively drink heavily. Um, people that have done drugs. Maybe even sex addicts. I mean, it's just so many different ways of how you can display your hurt. Um, and, and not actually deal with it. Because that's not dealing with it. That's just um, trying to give it a prescription but not actually get into the problem. You know, because you're not, that's not digging deep. That's not going within and searching for the problem within yourself. That's seeking out other sources to assist. So, if I have a headache, for example, I'm going to grab some Tylenol. Is the Tylenol helping my headache? Or is it just suppressing that headache? It's pausing it, right? It's numbing the, the feeling so we don't feel the headache, but the headache still exists. Which means that's our body signaling to us that something is wrong. See this right here? Water. Sometimes we don't drink enough of it. That can cause a headache. I mean, it's so many things that can cause a headache, but I don't want to go into teaching about medicine and all this stuff about... Um, you know how to cure a headache because that's not what it's about it's about healing um, what I'm saying is search within take the time to do that because guess what if you don't take the time your body is going to do it for you mm -hmm. it will it will it'll shut down think it won't it will Stress shows up in so many different ways. Um, you can get the panic attack. Um, I don't know if you have eczema, but you can get outbreaks on your skin, like with flare-ups. Um, and I'm speaking from experience. I'm not just saying something that I, I haven't experienced myself. I don't. I don't work like that. I don't roll like that. Um, so. This is a very 
huge topic. And this is just some points that I wanted to make today. Search with this. Search with this. What do you need to heal from? Think about it. And I'm going to keep talking about it. What do you need to heal from? Is it affecting others? Are you able to function at work? Can you focus throughout the day? Are you able to do your regular duties throughout the day? Whatever that may be. I know it's a lot of questions that I'm throwing at you, but these are things to think about. Because trauma is not something that we should play around with. No matter what, everyone should heal. Whether you think you have a problem or not, because nobody's perfect. So you can walk high and mighty all you want with your head in the clouds as if you got it all together. You're hurting, I'm pretty sure. And I'm not putting it on anybody, but I'm just saying, I, I, I know what it looks like. And um, just deal with it, whatever it is. Face it, don't run from it, because it will resurface. So, take care of yourself on this Tuesday, August 25th. Do this each and every day, no matter how hard it is, no matter who you have to speak to, no matter if you have to go to counseling, therapy, whatever it is, deal with it. And don't do it alone, because don't feel like you're ever alone. You're not alone. Others have been through it. They won't tell you, but they may have experienced it before. Take the time that you need to heal, because there is no set time. Do what works for you. And continue to live your life on purpose. Have an awesome day.